Is that uh, Damon? His stance feels familiar. No. Husband. Oh. Oh, he has to get rid of her? Is that what's happening right now, guys? Oh, God. Oh. Bro, did the horse just, like, land on top of her completely? Guessing her back is broken. Oh, that's brutal. Absolutely. Just, just he's going to bludgeon her. I do not wish to see you Oh, he needs to go. Period. That is the king's decision. Right. A decision I might bitterly regret. Yet you made it possible. You just be lucky you're still there. Bro, get out of here. I mean, he's not wrong. Slightly. But it's still time for you to go because you set all of this up. Like, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. You basically sold your daughter to the king. That was something you did. You started the ball rolling. Bro, you cannot be seasick anymore. Is this how House Valarian greets its king? My father has but just returned from his long journey. Okay, a lot of time has definitely passed. Journey. And he's hastened to the Hall of Nine to await your anymore, race's arrival. Yes. Well, obviously. Two kids. And, okay, yeah. The weather has been lovely. Indeed. And yet it is a dark day for the realm. Your father was a good man. Treacherous man. As is yours who took his place. I'm the queen. I have no shortage of allies. Naturally. Princess Venera, for example. State your purpose, my lord. Right. That the Grand Maester himself brought. Put that together. That condition must be something very serious. I mean, well played. Right. Just over here dropping gems. All right. She gets the picture. She's been lied to. Let's see where that takes us. Bro, he looks super sick. I'm guessing they're still playing on the seasickness, but I've been seasick. You kind of get over that when you get onto stable land. Are you well? Very no. I congratulate you, Lord Lionel. I can think of no man more suited to be the hand of the king. That is very kind of you to say, Lord Corliss. His grace has honored me with the post. The Lady Rhea Royce has passed. A hunting mishap. Oh, yeah? She was thrown from her horse. Okay. Her neck and... Lady Rhea's skill as both rider and hunter were well known. I mean, you the can... Gods are cruel. I mean, bro, I mean, there's a, there's a difference, I'm sure, in the crushing. Um, a rock... And a horse. But, you know, Indeed. listen, whatever, right? Happens. But, uh, happy a pursuit. Mm. Well, put you that, that together. <laughs> Between your son, Selena, and my daughter and heir, the Princess Rhaenyra, it's long past time our houses were united in blood. You honor both me and my house. Okay. Your Grace. There are certain Take details detail. I would wish clarified. We would like to know how the succession will be handled. The daughter of Rhaenyra Rhaenyra. is my heir. Right. Upon my death, my throne and my titles will pass to her. In keeping with Westerosi tradition. Oh no. Their children would take their father's name. That they would be born Valarians. Oh. Surely, Lord Corliss. Right. You are not my daughter. Exactly. Simply because she's a woman. Right. I only seek clarity, Your Grace. <sighs> this man is a shark, guys. He's a shark. Wow. <laughs> I mean, listen, it works. He doesn't like it, though, obviously. I mean, he wants his name on the throne. I mean, so they're basically turning the Targaryen name into a label. In truth, if I had to be I like someone... It. I'm fine with that. I'm glad it's... I find it a bit greasy for my taste. Right. 
and it has a tendency to be extremely I know dry. That whatever agreement they can all it change mine. Also at the same time. Imagine what do you propose? Greasy and dry. And when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. I mean, that sounds good. Right. I just don't know if that's going to be a uh, possible thing. Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure Lena was already taken with her. She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. What? He's still young. His true nature? He will outgrow it. Outgrow it? Because the realm would not have itself. And I would remedy that small-minded error by any means necessary. But I mean, the same thing is about to happen now. Like, if they didn't accept a woman before, how are they going to accept a woman now? I get it. I get that. That's the overall uh, issue that I think she's having very specifically. Um, but, I mean, I guess if the king is saying it is, this is what is happening, right? Uh, they may just have to deal with it, right? Um, and it definitely, as of right now at least, looks like um, the king is sick. Uh, th this is not like any any seasickness I've ever seen. We wear your crown today, your brains. <laughs> We're way past the three second rule of kissing, guys. She has a paramour of her own. It's him. Bro, you if are playing with fire for no reason. Of the father's whim with no thought given to the yearning of your own heart. And yeah, she's not going to give up her throne for you. Bro. How the day comes, one that led to freedom. Right. And giving up your throne. Credit. No, she wouldn't. Renewed. Of your inheritance, let us leave it all behind and right. see the world together. Bro, just, just, just stop. A marriage for love. Go ahead. Go ahead, give him the uncomfortable no. A long-winded, uncomfortable no. Go ahead. I am the crown. Or oh, I will be. Uh -huh. Is there a ship to a shy? Exactly. And I think that's the overall problem. This is what he doesn't grasp. And Antonio's going to be the same. Yeah, I don't know if that's enough. You want me to be your whore? Yes. That's an honorable man right there, guys. I mean, that's why he's mad? I, I mean, I thought it was going to be something different. Another reason, but. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess, guys, forecast. Uh, we're going to probably end up losing the king before the end of this season, guys. Um. Yeah, we're talking about a lot of things as of right now in the in the show itself, and um, it seems to be all leading up to his demise. Guys, um, let's get it. Concerns our dear Princess Rhaenyra. Please. Oh no! I mean, your duty, your duty, and honor bound, bro. Are you gonna tell the truth? The night of Damon's return. Oh no. There has been a rumor. A lapse of morals that may have occurred between. I, I did, however, wonder if. Go ahead. The way she's wording it is amazing. I'm unaware that in flush of youth, there may be errors made. Mm -hmm. Reaches in resolve. <laughs> Bro, Reaches what is this artwork? It happened, Your Grace. I have committed it. I don't think she knew that. She didn't know that. At her instigation, it is true, but that should. It is no excuse. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't know that, bro. My oath has been broken. <laughs> I dishonored myself. <laughs> I deserve no consideration. Please say something. 
I mean, if the queen forgave it, I guess it's fine. Just be glad it's this very specific person, bro, because, you know. I mean, but listen, listen. Here's the thing, though. She's absolutely in a position of power. So it's not like he really could have said no that night anyway, if that makes any sense. So I think she's to blame. He's not to blame. You can't blame him for anything. His actions? What actions? Her fault, basically. All right? Factually, it's absolutely her fault. She was in a position of power that very specific instance. And based off of what we've learned these last like 20 years, it's absolutely her fault. The leechings have always brought his grace relief. Leeching? For what though? What's happening with him? I'm gonna give him like two episodes at max. No. Mm. Oh, what's on your arm? Some might call that good fortune. I mean... Another lord might assure me that I would rise like Egon the Conqueror, given the chance. Your grace, that is You're right. You're right. He's a realist. If this is the type of person you probably want around you... It is perhaps best not to know. You wouldn't know anyway. For sure, at least. Well, I'm definitely glad to see he made it through the night, guys. It didn't look like it, to be honest. I could think of no better man than Selena. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. if this is only the welcome feast, I admit I cannot imagine what you might have planned for the wedding. Oh, my daughter is... Of course the Lannister isn't happy with this. I wanted this to be a wedding for the histories. She declined him. It's funny because, like... Okay, so they were obviously introducing people when they were walking in, and everyone, for the most part, was being ignored. But obviously, when these guys walk in, they actually have all of the fanfare solid. <laughs> like, they did not care about any of the people that were entering into the room. But if that's the case, why even announce them? No, but seriously, where is the queen? We honor the crown's oldest and fiercest ally, Go ahead. House Valerian. Guys, I don't trust the fact that Damien is here. Reaching back Damien. to the days of old Valeria. She's wearing green on purpose. Huh? Is something going on, guys? Hmm. Damien randomly pops up. The queen is late. She's been missing. <laughs> Guys, it's too peaceful right now. I don't I don't really trust the scenario. <laughs> Guys, I feel like everyone in the room is plotting right now. As her husband, whatever she was due now passes to me. <laughs> Oh, 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 but that was a play. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Guys, there's so much plotting. Everyone, every single person. Secrets that will destroy lives are being spread. Because if those are kept safe, and so are we all. He already told the queen. And I'm still waiting for the queen's response. Where was the queen for these days? He's not going to. And all the king sees is... Oh. Okay, the guy that basically threatened him...
Bro. Is this, a, is this a Joffrey situation, guys? That's the guy who threatened him. Okay, but... Oh, uh, right. I mean, your face, you don't... I guess you didn't, you didn't need that face anymore. Uh, he's not He's not coming back, guys. He's, I, don't, I don't know what happened. But <laughs> right. Right. He was definitely poisoned, I guess. So much just happened so quickly. Okay. Father. Okay. What? <sighs> this episode <laughs> was everything. Um, okay, it's definitely starting to get very good. Um, I think I probably am saying this after every single episode now because it is honestly getting better and better and better and better and better. Like the level of drama uh, that all of the characters actually have is just getting more intense and more intense. I don't like this marriage. I understand it has to happen, but I just don't like the marriage at all. Um, I'm guessing Sir Kristen decided um, out of nowhere to basically respond to that guy, right? Like he admitted that this marriage is a sham marriage, right? And that he, in fact, was with the the guy and he knows that she is with Sir Christian, right? Um, so I'm guessing what he did was uh, end him because in all actuality, this would have been something that, the, that was going to be held over the the queen, right, Rhaenyra, like, like, and so he just stood up for her again, you know, uh, then the king most likely at the end here expired, I, I gave him two episodes, but I, that was, that may have been too much, um, I don't understand still where, why Damon just randomly popped up, I get it, it's his niece's marriage party, where was the queen for these days, what is the queen going to do with the information now that um, kind of Sir Christian basically admitted uh, what was happening. Um, she walked up onto him right when he was about to harikari himself. Okay. Uh, good. Oh, man. I cannot wait for next week. <laughs> Just going to be honest. Um, this would have been um, an amazing time to do two episodes back to back, but there's no way I can do that. But it would have been an amazing time to do that. Just so I can actually <laughs> see what actually is happening here. Oh, no. Oh, but all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. And if you guys do want to see the full length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.